A very hearty welcome to this new episode of Spell Talk, the program based on tricky spelling. Today, we will start the tricky words beginning with uh, F. The first word in the list is facsimile. The spelling is F-A-C-S-I-M-I-L-E. Facsimile means an exact uh, copy, especially one obtained through electronic uh, transmission. Now the area of confusion is uh, the CS after FA and uh, at the end of the word we have LE. These are the two points one has to be careful about. So I uh, will give the spelling once more F-A-C-S-I-M-I-L-E. The next word is uh, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit is a scale of temperature. Now, the word is spelt as F-A-H-R-E-N-H-E-I-T. The word is obtained from the name of the famous German physicist Gabriel Fahrenheit. Now, the tricky area is the H after F-A. F-A followed by H, that is the area one has to pay attention to. Another point is that the last part of the word, H-E-I-T, is pronounced as height. So, uh, actually it has to do a lot with uh, uh, temperature, uh, heat, uh, thermometer, etc. But uh, the last part of this word is not heat but height. So, we will see that spelling once more. F-A-H-R-E-N-H-E-I-T. Uh, that is uh, uh, how the word has to be spelt. Now, move, we will move on to the next word and that is fascism. The spelling is F-A-S-C-I-S-M. Fascism means extreme right-wing nationalist movement. Fascism means extreme right-wing nationalist movement. The tricky area in the word is the SC after FA. It is uh, pronounced uh, as fascism, but we have SC after FA. So let us see the spelling once more. F A S C I S M. Okay, now we come to the next word, feisty. The spelling is F E I S T. Why? Feisty. The word means uh, strong, determined and arguing vigorously. For example, we can say that trade union leader is a feisty character. That means he is strong, he is determined and he is ready to argue his case in a vigorous manner. The area of confusion or the tricky area is the E I after F. So please note the spelling once more F E I S T Y. Okay, uh, next we have a pair of words and we are considering these words uh, together as a pair because uh, they are the masculine gender and the feminine gender of each other. The words are F I. A N C E and F I A N C double E. Okay, now let us come to the first word F I A N C E. This uh, word comes from the French language and it has multiple pronunciations. In fact, the pronouncing dictionary by Daniel Jones gives uh, at least four pronunciations for this. So we will use one of the generally accepted pronunciations that is fiancé for our discussion here. Even fiancé also is acceptable. Now, regarding the first word, F-I-A-N-C-E, that is masculine gender and it is pronounced fiancé and the word means the man to whom a woman is engaged, Pradisruddha Varan. Okay, now uh, F-I-A-N-C-E, fiancé, 
it is masculine gender and the word means the man to whom a woman is engaged. Now, if we add an extra e to this word, we get the feminine gender. So we will see that word now. Uh, F I A N C double E. The word remains unchanged as far as the pronunciation is concerned. Okay, when we add an extra e to fiance, the meaning changes, the gender changes, but the pronunciation remains unchanged. So the feminine gender is fiance, F I A N C double E. And the word means the woman to whom a man is engaged. Now, uh, the word uh, for that in Malayalam is Pradisruda Vadu. And regarding these two words, uh, it's quite strange that uh, even the addition of an extra E doesn't uh, cause any change in the pronunciation. Now, uh, that is quite strange as far as the English language is concerned because you add an extra E to any word and immediately the pronunciation changes. For example, add E to license, it becomes licensee. But in the case of fiancé, when you add an extra E, the change is confined to the gender and the meaning, but the pronunciation remains unchanged. Our next word is fluorescent or fluorescent. It is pronounced in both ways. Okay, It can be pronounced as fluorescent and also as fluorescent. Now, uh, first of all, I will give the spelling. The spelling is F L U O R E S C E N T. Fluorescent means giving light by radiation. Now, the tricky area in this word is after F L U O R E. That is where most people get confused. Some people use O U instead of U. O, and some people use uh, RO instead of RE. That is a problem. So I uh, will give the spelling once more F L U O R E S C E N T. Fluorescent or fluorescent. Now there is another problem also. There is a word very similar to this, uh, at least in pronunciation, and that is a fluorescent. For example, you find that word in expressions like an efflorescent tree, an efflorescent uh, plant, etc. An efflorescent plant is a plant that is uh, full of flowers or bursting into flowers. So that's a different matter altogether. We will come back to our uh, original word that is uh, fluorescent or fluorescent. Uh, once more, I'll give the spelling F-L-U-O-R-E-S-C-E-N-T. Now, we have another word, forfeit. The spelling is F-O-R-F-E-I-T. It's pronounced forfeit. Now, the tricky areas in the word is that there is no E after F-O-R. And the second part of the word, F-E-I-T, is pronounced as fit, not fit. Okay. Uh, the word means... Uh, uh, see, uh, losing something by way of uh, punishment. Okay, so uh, forfeit means to lose or to be deprived of something uh, as punishment or fine, etc. For example, you can consider a sentence. If you cancel this flight ticket, you may forfeit the money. I hope. Uh, the meaning is clear from that uh, sentence. So I will uh, give the spelling once more, and that is F O R F E I T. Our next word is fraudulent. F R A U D U L E N T. Fraudulent means intended to deceive or involved in a fraud. So uh, the spelling is F R A U. D U L E N T. Now, the tricky area uh, is the last part of the word, namely L E N T. Most people are tempted to write it as L A N T. We have to write it as F R A U D U L E N T. Our next word is frugivorous. Frugivorous. 
uh, we are familiar with uh, expressions uh, like uh, carnivorous, uh, herbivorous, uh, omnivorous, etc. To that category, now we have another word, frugivorous. Frugivorous means feeding on fruit. For example, certain birds and so on depend entirely and exclusively on fruit and uh, that category of creatures are said to be frugivorous. So I'll give the spelling once more, F-R-U-G-I-V-O-R-O-U-S. And finally, now we have another word, fulsome. The spelling is F-U-L-S-O-M-E. Uh, see, uh, the spelling, the pronunciation, etc. are uh, not very tricky, but uh, the tricky part of the word is its meaning. For example, consider the case of Idi Amin or Joseph Stalin or Saddam Hussein, etc. When they were alive, People used to praise them uh, uh, very excessively to a disgusting extent in a dishonest manner. That is what we call fulsome praise. So fulsome praise means uh, disgusting and uh, dishonest uh, praise. So this word is not uh, to be used uh, as uh, a positive word. Uh, often we find uh, here expressions like uh, fulsome praise, uh, fulsome apology, etc. But uh, fulsome has a negative uh, connotation. So uh, these are the words or the tricky words that uh, uh, we intended to consider uh, under F. And uh, that leads us to the end of this episode. And it's goodbye for the time being till we meet again at the same time, same day next week. Thank you.